Dividing a decimal by a whole number is almost exactly the same as dividing a whole number by a whole number. So in this case, I want to divide 34.14 by 6. So the first thing that I do is write my division calculation. Just as usual. And then I go through exactly the same steps as before. So, for example, 6 divided into 3 doesn't go. I could leave it blank or put a 0 in. 6 divided into 34 is going to go 5 times, because 5 sixes are 30. And then I need to carry a 4. 6 into 41 is going to go 6 times, with 5 left over, because 6 sixes are 36. Carry the 5 across. And 6 divided into 54 is going to go 9 times. Now there's only one thing that I've left out, and that's to do with the decimal point. All I need to do with the decimal point is put it into the answer in exactly the same position as it is in the decimal. So it basically moves straight up, and I'm going to put my decimal point exactly there, just above where it was um, in the original number being divided. I could have done that as I went along, but I just decided to do it at the end, it doesn't really matter. So as you can see, dividing a decimal by a whole number is really almost exactly the same as dividing a whole number by a whole number. This next example isn't really um, a decimal divided by a decimal because I'm dividing 7 by 4 and they're both whole numbers. But because it will involve decimal division, um, I think I'd like to talk about it here. So I've got to divide 7 by 4 so I do the same thing as usual. I do 4, I make my division sign, and I draw 7 in underneath the division sign, because the 7 is the number that's being divided, and the 4 is the number doing the dividing. So, to begin with, 4 goes into 7 one time, and I'm going to carry 3. But at the moment, you can see I've got nothing written after the 7. So what I need to do is add in some zeros like this. It doesn't matter how many you add in because you're only going to use a certain number of them. So just add, add in some zeros. So 4 into 7 goes one time. I carry a 3. 4 into 30, well let's see, 4 multiplied by 7 is 28. So I'm going to put a 7 down here. And this time the decimal place, which is just here, I'm just going to move up to there so I don't forget it at the end. So, at the moment I've got 4 divided into 30, that gave me my 7, and then I'm going to carry a 2, like so, and then 4 into 20 goes 5 times, and that's my answer. So, you can see the answer to 7 divided by 4 is 1.75, and the key to this is just adding more zeros to the end of the 7, so writing 7 as 7.000, so as to allow us to get a decimal answer.